Rocky Madsen was on our show last week. He was talking a little bit about the first annual Perch Challenge, and he happened to mention to us off camera um, about his new hover hut. So we sent our camera and Jeremiah out onto Lake Simcoe to see what it was all about. Let's take a look. We're on the shores of Lake Simcoe, of course. We're going to be uh, taking out a couple of our counselors. They, because of the articles that have been done in the paper in the last week or so about the bad ice conditions, we're going to be taking them out in the world's first flying ice hut. It's actually, we can fly out there. It doesn't matter what the conditions are, whether it's open water, thin ice, we can go with this machine. So what we're doing today here is we're just going to take the counselors out. They want to see what the conditions are. They have concerns. And uh, basically, that's what we're going to be doing today and giving them a ride. The machine itself is an air rider hovercraft. It's been converted into be able to fish out of. It does about 60 miles an hour at, at top speed, and it'll go over virtually anything because it's a hovercraft. It actually flies. This one here is heated inside. It'll carry up to five people. Has a payload of about 900 pounds and uh, interesting machine to fly, let me tell you. And we call it flying because we're actually up off the ground. The big advantages of this is that we can go out before anybody else. We can fish on one inch of ice, which we've done. And the nice thing too, what it really does is it extends your fishing season. So at the end of the season, when some of the best fishing is and the best weather is at the end of March when the shore is all starting to break up and the ramps and you can't get on the lake, but this we can, we can go out there. And there, there quite often there's another, there's a foot, 18 inches or so of ice out there that we can fish on honeycombed ice. Uh, we can get out. So what it really does is it probably gives you about another month in the season. Well, the hovercraft ride was a lot of fun. Uh, you're, it's, we're floating on a cushion of air, so it was quite a comfortable ride. And uh, it's not as loud inside as you would think with that big motor on the back, but uh, it's a bit like a plane ride, I think. We, uh, we managed to do a couple donuts on the ice, and uh, I, I washed as we were going by, and it didn't look like we were leaving much of an impression on the snow. So very much uh, uh, an experience of floating. Uh, turning on it uh, is nice and sharp, smooth. Uh, the ice conditions where we were were excellent. There's people out uh, sitting on uh, five-gallon pails fishing and some of them in huts. Actually, before I went out in it, I, I, I thought, you know, this would be a nice idea, a nice, nice sort of a, a toy, or if you want to call it that, or whatever, to, to be able to own and operate. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think uh, we could see more of them out in the area in the near future. It was an interesting experience. I like the, 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 the safety features that it has on it. Uh, obviously, it floats. Air Rider uh, factory is in Perry Sound. This design was bought out of New Zealand. They bought the design, brought it up here, and it's made in Perry Sound. If you want to get a closer look at the machine, it's very unique. It's the world's first flying ice hut. That will be at the tournament at Bonnie Boats in February the 28th.